Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the support. It's amazing to see all that's come in through Indiegogo. These last 30 to 40 days have been a completely an amazing journey for us. And we just thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking this decision and uh, coming along with us, coming alongside us and joining us on this journey to Elam. But I want to kind of talk about what that even means. And let's go, let's go back there. What are you guys even agreeing to by supporting us? Elam is founded upon a verse in Exodus. The Israelites were in the wilderness again after the Red Sea and God laid an ordinance upon them before they reached a place of rest after that. And so this is, the, this is the ordinance he laid upon his people. He said, if you diligently heed to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Then they came to Elam where there were 12 wells and 70 palm trees, so they camped there by the waters. Elam was a place of rest, a physical place of rest, and what we're basically drawing from that is, it's basically the rest found in Jesus. Jesus says, come to me, all you weak and weary, and I will give you rest. And what we want to do is expose this kind of passcode in this, in, this, in this verse. It says, listen to the voice of God and obey His commandments. Only after that did they reach the rest of God. That's what Elam is about. That's what our music is about. And our, and our CD that's coming out, that's just a step in that direction. We want people to come alongside us and be drawn to listen to the voice of God and then obey His commandments so that they can experience the rest that, that God intended for them through Jesus Christ. That's what Elam is about. And so thank you so much for choosing to come alongside us and coming to this place where, the, where you listen to the voice of God and you obey His commandments. That's what we're excited about and that's what's going to encourage us to move forward. So thank you again. Hey guys, I, I also want to second Sunny how filled with gratitude that I am personally um, as well as corporately alongside Elam for all the support that we've seen. There have been so many of you who have given so much and and it's just very humbling and it's very convicting even uh, to to know that that these there are external sources pouring into us and we really want to do justice to that when we pour out to others and so just a couple of things to look forward to even though the 40 days is coming to an end what to expect from us is still on the website you're going to see devotionals you're going to see blog posts you're going to see youtube videos this entire next section besides the work that we do at our church and things like this is going to be geared towards pre-production um, and really working hard musically and fostering um, the relationship that we have with nashville to make the best decisions we can for the album so that when you really get those products in your hand you can say, this was not in vain. My support was not in vain. I want to share a verse that comes from 1 Corinthians 15. And it's something that anybody who's in ministry, at one point or another, is going to have to look at and hold on to. And it goes like this, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. So again, we're just so thankful and, um, and we just wanna and, uh, continue this relationship and continue moving forward uh, to Elm. God bless you guys. I just wanna give my personal thanks as well. Um, when I think about what all that has been given, like today actually I just uh, went on the Indiegogo side to see the funders and see how much this person gave like I am just absolutely amazed and just completely humbled just because I understand that, or not just me, but we all understand that you guys aren't giving out of an abundance, but the ones that have given, every single person has given out of a lack. And that is showing us that you guys are taking a step in faith towards us. We see, we see a generation in need. We see a generation that has no morals. Or, or hasn't been taught morals, hasn't been brought up, um, uh, raised in broken families, ra ra uh, raised in broken homes. And so we're seeing that, and we're seeing that as a result of that generation, there's no future for this country. 
And so we want to reach out and, and redeem that generation for Jesus Christ. We want to redeem a generation and raise up a generation that will heed the voice of God, listen to the voice of God, and then obey the voice of God. Because if, if, you do, if we do these three things, we will find rest in Jesus Christ. Uh, continue to stay in contact, continue to do what, you, do what you're doing, continue to be involved, continue to stay, uh, just to go on the Facebook page, uh, just continue to um, watch what we're doing, because then, if we know that every single one of you is watching us, man, it's going to hold us accountable to what God wants us to do, and that, meaning, every single thing we're, we're going to do, we're going to pour out all of who we are and what God has given us into it, and so that when we, whatever is formed out of that, we can, we know this is good, and we can give it to you, to you. Keep going in your faith. Hold on to your faith in Jesus Christ. Even though there may be things, many things that, can't, that come against you, hold on to your faith because you will be rewarded. And the reward is an eternal weight of glory with God. Again, thank you for everything that you guys have given to us. So coming up on August 9th, we're going to be celebrating uh, together as a local body, and we'd love to see you there, especially if you're close. If you live in the Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, maybe even Waterloo area, come out to Amana. Uh, to the Abbott Theater Artist Company and come celebrate with us and just rejoice for what God has done. It's amazing and, and we, want, we, don't want to, we don't want to not thank God. You, we don't want to come together and, and not thank Him for all that He's doing. So we'd love to see you there. And we'll also be inaugurating Pastor's Book officially there too. It's called The Underground Tent Makers. It's a missionary journey from the Middle East to the Midwest. It's an amazing story and that's another really really good reason for you to be there so please be there come join us and come join us and celebrate with us and and again thank you thank you so much for yes. everything thank we you. just thank you so much may the lord bless, bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you, upon you.